Everybody might know the song by Antonio de Curtis, although you might not know who Antonio de Curtis is. He's Toto. 1951, he wrote a song called Mala Femina, which is a very famous song, especially since the Sopranos came back on it. People are playing it over and over and over again. Luisa Ermolino titles her book Mala Femina. And what she does is she turns the whole idea of Toto's Mala Femina upside down. Toto wrote the song to get back at a woman who hurt him. Um, and what we find there is, is you know, the man uh, has this power to be able to put down this woman through song. Well, what Ermolino does in this collection of stories is she finds uh, the power inside women who, who don't listen to what men have to say, who don't depend on a man for their identity. Sure, they may be interacting with them, but they take control of their own lives. She turns to Toe's Mala Femina upside down and recreates her in her own likeness, we think. Uh, there's in incredible stories about sister-in-laws in Staten Island who kidnap uh, their, their brother's uh, wife. There's stories about women traveling around uh, in, in different time periods in the 1970s, 80s. Um, going to different places throughout Europe. In all of the stories, the women are in incredibly in control. Uh, she takes these kind of real scenarios and surrealizes them through, through her, uh, not just through her language, because uh, her language is pretty clear and, and clean. Uh, I, 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 don't want to do the disservice of comparing her to Hemingway in, in terms of her clarity, uh, because she certainly is, is uh, beyond Hemingway in both her style and her subject matter. She, um, she can be as uh, polite uh, or as, as wicked as, as she can be. There's a story called James Dean and Me, and a woman uh, believes that the man that she has met um, in, uh, in Afghanistan is, a, is, is James Dean, that James Dean faked his own death and went off into hiding. And, and she believes throughout the story that this guy that she's with is James Dean. Uh, really, a story like this, yes, there's the surreal aspect to it, but to make it real, it's like, how many women have thought that the man that they were after was a, was a you know, the equivalent of, of the Hollywood star? Having learned this through Hollywood movies and uh, uh, the kind of uh, star society that we have created, um, there's some a couple of uh, well, there's one story that comes right out of uh, one of her uh, uh, Joey D gets wise, uh, but in all of the stories, it's about what happens when you take the portrait of a woman that once was made by a man and turn the means of production of the creating of that portrait over to a woman. And in the hands of uh, a veteran uh, storyteller like Louisa Molino, you're gonna get one masterpiece after another with these stories. Uh, certainly, Mala Femina becomes this gallery of stories that you don't want to end. In fact, the value to me of a good short story is can you read it twice? Can you read it three times? Um, I've read this at least twice, uh, just preparing for my reviews, uh, but this is a book that I'm certainly going to come back to, and I bet you will too. Mala Femina by Luisa Molina.